So today we're on free code camp again, and we are going to be doing DNA pairing. So this is under intermediate algorithm scripting. Let's check this one out. The DNA strand is missing the pairing element. Take each character, get its pair, and return the result as a 2D array. Base pairs are a pair of AT and CG. Match the missing element to the provided character. Return the provided character as the first element in each array. For example, if it was C, a GCG, return this. So let's just look at this real quick. Uh, these characters will all become an array with itself as the first element, and then the second element is a pair. So for G, it becomes C, for C, it becomes G, and so on. The character and its pair are paired up in an array, and all the arrays are grouped into one encapsulating array. So the output of our result is going to be array 2. Let's get our code here, bring it to our editor, and let's begin working. So I'm going to do this the long way first. We're going to use a for loop. So we have two for loops that we could choose from. We could either do the standard let i go 0 and so on. Uh, I think this is much cleaner to do a for of loop. We're going to say for const c of string. So what this does is c takes a place of every single character in our string. So I think this is much cleaner to use. So I'm going to use this. And we are going to do this. Let's do a bunch of if conditions. So if we have um, C can be equal to a capital A, we have A, T, C, and G here. We're going to do something else if C is uh, lowercase C is equal to T, do something else. Else if C is equal to C, then do something else. Else if C is equal to G then do something. Uh, so what are we going to do? We are, since we are returning an array, an array of arrays essentially, but the outer one is an array, uh, we have to build up an array. So I'm going to initialize our array here, an empty array, and we're going to call this the output. We're going to initialize it as an empty array. And once we are done, assuming that everything went well, we're going to return the output array. So if our character C, in back in our for loop now, if our C was the character A, what is its pair? The pair is T. So what we want is we want the character itself first and then the opposite pair. So we are going to push to our output array and another array inside of it. And the first character is always going to be the character itself. And then the next one is the pair. So the pair for A is T. So we're going to do that. Copy that, paste that over here. For T, the pair is A. Paste that for the C. The pair of C is G. And for the pair of G, it is C. So this should work. Let's see what we get. I'm going to run it. And I get nothing because I have to cancel log the result of our function call. Let's see what we get now. And it seems like we get the correct answer. Let's see if uh, free code cap likes this answer. I'm going to bring this over here and run the tests. Yes, they do like the answer. Now let's focus on some ways we could refactor this code to make it a little bit neater. Uh, one thing I can do is outside of our function, I'm going to define a dictionary, a dic uh, uh, no, an object. Object, aka a dictionary, is a set of key value pairs. And I am going to call this object um, as DNA dict, short for dictionary. And pretty much what we're going to have is if our key is A, that is equal to t. If our key is t, that is equal to a. If our key is c, that is g. And if our key is g, then that is c. Now, to use this, we do this. Instead of pushing this, 
have hard coding all of these T, A, G, C in, what we can do is just replace these with DNA dict C. Put that over here. Put that over here and in here. So essentially what we are doing is uh, DNA dict of A, let's say C was, uh, the, our variable was A. Then we go, it goes find the key A and gives us the result of that, which is the opposite pair T. So notice we have a lot of redundant code here. As a matter of fact, the inside the if conditions, they all look the same. So what we can do is we could ignore the if conditions entirely, get rid of them and just put inside here, this output push. Because depending on what C it is, it will give us a different output. So let's see if this works. And it seems that we get the same answer. That is good. Uh, before we go on, um, more ways to refactor this, I'm going to change this to an error function because I'm always a fan of the ES6 error function notation. So let's do that first. Uh, just to make sure that it works, run it. Yep, it, ro it, ro it works. And so, what else can we do to refactor this somewhat? One thing we can do is this. Instead of having this for loop, we could try something else. We could do this. I could first break up the string uh, into an array by using this split method of a string. And what I'm going to split it by is by every single string. So let's look at what the result of this is. I'm just going to call the variable result and console log result to see what result is. I'm going to see undefined here because we're not returning anything. Ignore that. But here we see that the result is GCG. So it gets our strings, splits it up, makes them into its own element in an array. Uh, after doing that, what we want to do is with this array now, now that we're dealing with an array, we could map each an array. What map does is it gets every single element of an array and it transforms those elements to something else. So what goes inside a map method is a, a function. The parameter of that function is going to be the element itself that we're looping over. In this case, I'm just going to call it C, short for character. And what we want to transform each of our characters, our C, into is an array. Array that has C as its first element. And using our DNA dictionary, uh, the result of the DNA dictionary with C as a second element. Let's see what our result is here. As a matter of fact, why don't we just return the result? Seems that we get the same answer. And here, what we're doing is we're declaring a variable result and returning it right away. So to shorten this, we could replace what result is, which is this whole line, and just return that instead, instead of declaring it first. And notice we only have one line within our function. So we can make this an inline, just an output. Instead of having an explicit return, we could just do that. If you, I don't like the spacing here, so I'm gonna put parentheses here just to make it a little bit neater. And actually, I don't need those parentheses, so let's just leave it like this. So if I zoom out a little bit, it will look like that. Let's see if this works, and it seems to work. Let's see if Free Code Camp is happy with this answer, so a solution. And they are. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining me today. We did DNA pairing today. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing the missing letters one. So I recommend you guys try this out first and come join me tomorrow. And if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Please click like if you like the video and have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow.